So when you watch one of the most famous guides on YouTube and they tell you that you need good quality audio for your YouTube videos and they recommend microphones and such but no one tells you which app to use on your phone to record that audio. I've got the Boya BYM1 mic right here and I'm currently recording on my Pixel 4a and I'm going to go through various different microphones as well as apps to record it. So let's get right to it. In the interest of making this video short and concise, I'm only gonna cover two apps today that I recommend. Both of these apps are good enough for its specific use case. Let's start with Google Recorder. I am now going to switch my mic to Google Recorder so you guys can hear how the raw audio from Google Recorder sounds like. It won't be the greatest, but it has transcript feature which basically converts whatever you said in the video to text so you can quickly go around and check and edit the script so you can use it for a rough draft before you record the full video etc etc and the audio quality is not bad so let me just quickly switch to google recorder to test it out as you can see i have now switched to google recorder and now you can see me speak on the camera and you can see the transcode happen in real time it is a very useful feature of google recorder as well as the audio quality is unedited and raw from the microphone that I'm recording from. Needless to say, there are features like Google Drive Sync, etc. because it's a Google product and the Google Recorder app can be sideloaded into any Android phone. I'll have a link in the description if it's not available on the Play Store for your device. But also there will be a Play Store link if you want to download that. All you have to do is just plug in your microphone, press record and you're on your way. The second app that I'm going to talk about is the Dolby On app. Now this app is a foolproof noob friendly app which basically edits all of your audio, adjusts your gain, add effects, DSs the audio and various other things that are included with the app. All of my videos from the past few months or so have been recorded using Dolby app because it's just one less hassle to worry about because when I record using the Google Recorder app, then I have to edit it in post to remove any unnecessary noises, clicks and clacks and etc. This app is simple. Once you press record, it starts recording. You can see the waveforms on the screen like that. And then once you're done, you press stop. The app has very slight customization available as to what you can do. But in my opinion, it's designed to be pretty bare bones and everything's already applied so you don't have to worry about adjusting it but once you are done recording the clip you can adjust the clip after the fact so you can remove the effects remove basically everything and make the audio sound as raw as possible or as edited as possible if you want to put it that way but by default it applies a good mix of effects so your audio is always at good high quality level as well as high volumes so it's not peaking while also not being very low so it adds compressor and everything like that just for the test purposes, now I will now play audio from my camera. So this is the audio from my Lumix G7, which I'm recording this video on. And now this audio is from my second camera, which is the DJI Osmo Action. I have made a review on the Osmo Action just up there. I'm yet to review the G7, but I might make a video on it if I get enough thumbs up on this video. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the best quality audio from your microphone, whichever one you have, even the built-in microphone will sound better on the Dolby On app compared to the Google Recorder or any other app if you're just trying to get good quality audio. While if you need to have a transcript of what you're speaking, then Google Recorder is the better choice. I personally use a combination of both because sometimes I need high quality audio and sometimes I just need to have a transcript of what I was talking about so I can edit it in Google Docs and etc. One other thing to note is both of these apps don't have a feature where you can export the audio directly to your cloud or something like Google has Google Drive integration so you can just go to recorder.google.com but Dolby On app doesn't have that kind of synchronization. So if you're recording in lossless and you want to send files, there is no way you can plug in your phone via USB and copy it over. Instead, you gotta go to share and then click on export lossless and then share it using solid file explorer or 
you know, email it to yourself or anything that you want to do, the file system is not accessible. Just that one thing to point out. Anyway guys, smash that like button if this video helps you improve your audio recording quality. Consider subscribing and ding that notification bell just down there. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.